Guys, in case you're new to this channel, my name is Hamad Benesha. I'm the founder of undoit.ca. In this channel, I talk about MacBooks, MacBooks repairs, everything to do with MacBooks. I'm located in Toronto, Canada, downtown next to the Sin Tower. And I have been in the business for over 20 years. I'm also an Apple certified technician and I only fix MacBooks, nothing else. So if you haven't done it yet, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Hi guys, tout d'abord, un petit bonjour, un petit coucou à nos amis francophones. Today we're going to be working on the MacBook Pro 2011. Uh, this MacBook is working perfectly fine, except it has a battery that's very, very swollen. And uh, as you can see over here, it actually is so swollen that it pretty much cracked the, the back cover. And uh, that's enough that for the, the owner, the, oops, the trackpad didn't crack, okay? Usually it's so swollen that the trackpad will actually crack. So you really got lucky there. Uh, so what we're going to do is replace the, the battery. I'm going to show you step by step. It's very, very easy. And also we're going to talk to you about this model. Uh, this model 2011 tend to have a problem, very common. I'm going to discuss that as well. And uh, I'm going to show you there is a video. If you ever have a problem with this model, what, uh, what, what needs to be done uh, about it. So first of all, I'm going to remove the, the cover. see as soon as I remove those screws it's gonna pop them even more there you go see so if you have a swollen battery don't wait because you don't want to damage like the trackpad or anything next to the to the battery replace it or have it replaced the for this model it's, it's very very easy like anybody can do it pretty much all you need just the screwdrivers you need two screwdrivers make sure you get battery from you know, uh, reputable places not anything that you can get especially the cheap one the cheap batteries i've had so many people coming but they bought very very inexpensive cheap batteries and as soon as they plug them in they damage the board okay they damage the charging circuit so just be careful where you get the battery from okay so i'm gonna plug the battery and let's see see how, how bad it is it actually cracked this is how swollen it is okay so we're gonna remove it as i said it's fairly easy there's one two three screws that's it Okay, let's remove it. So it goes in like this. Same, it goes out the same way. You pull it out. Okay. Okay. So let's put in a new battery. Let's put a new battery here. Usually the batteries come with a screw, with a screwdriver. So it should be okay. You put on the, uh, the screwdriver. Okay. So I'm gonna put in a new battery. Oops, I don't want to do that. That's okay, I can't, there's nothing I cannot fix, so it's not a problem, but make sure you don't do that uh, mistake. Okay, so it goes in like that. Put back the screws. Sometimes you have to adjust a little bit. Or you can put all of them first before you tighten them up. Let's 
שלושה, ארבעים, תשעים, שמונה, תשע, 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 ת Okay, so done. Okay, that's, that's really it. Okay, let me plug it in. And we can test it. I'm gonna describe to you what I was talking about earlier, about the 2011 model. This is 2011 model. There's two video cards I'm gonna show you quickly. I just wanna turn it on. There you go, it's on. Okay, that is fine. Usually it does it twice. You have to turn on twice. There you go for the first time. Okay, I should uh, come on. There you go. Okay, so problem resolved. The battery in. Okay, now what I, what I was discussing earlier um, was that um, this model has a problem. So there is two video cards. There is one of them that always go bad. Okay, let me see if I can uh, larger board. Show you this thing. Okay, so this one is one like this. So one of the bar, one, there's two on video card, that's the AMD. This eventually fail, okay? And then you end up with lines on the screen or, or fuzzy screen or the, the MacBook, the loading bar loads halfway and then it stops. Or uh, you, you, get, you end up with a gray screen, a blue screen. So I have, I have made a video about it. If this is the case with, you, with yours, okay? And you wanna keep this machine, which is a really good machine. That's the only problem they have is this video card. Uh, if you want, if you want, make sure to watch the video now. It should, it should uh, show, show up on your screen right now with the uh, arrow. Click on it and watch it. If you ever, if you ever need, a pro if you ever need help with that, uh, and you're in Canada, just contact me and then uh, I'll, uh, I'll take care of it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. That's how you press the battery on the, in this MacBook. Uh, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching. The process is very easy whether you're looking in Toronto or anywhere in Canada, just visit andoit.ca, click here to get a quote, or you can also click on the menu here, get a free quote, it's the same link. There is nine different categories, so try to select the one that best applies to you. In this example, I'm just going to click on my screen is black, and uh, let's assume my screen goes black when I tilt it. So I can, you can either get a free quote online, or you can also call if you prefer. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to click on get a free quote, fill up the form and just click on submit form. When you click on submit form, this is what I receive on my hand. And as you can see, we do receive a lot of requests. Uh, actually, 90% of our business is uh, shipped to us now from all over Canada. So you can rest assured that we know what we're doing. Uh, so I read it. I analyze it and then I send an email with a quote uh, with all the option to the client and if you decide to ship it you just click uh, here to select your shipping option and then you'll receive a shipping label as soon as your MacBook is fixed you will receive an email with pictures showing your MacBook repaired your invoice and how to proceed with the payment by credit card as soon as the payment is made, we'll send it back to you. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to receiving your MacBook. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know, share it, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video.